Each week, U.S. Bank brings us stories of athletes who amaze us. Jake Vanderbrook joins us now after spending a full day in the life of one of the Bay Area's best basketball players. You said it, Robert. Campolindo Sr. Aiden Mahaney is one of the best basketball players in the area, but it's his kindness that stands out the most. Here it is, a day in a life with Aiden Mahaney. January 28th is a huge day for Campolindo basketball star Aiden Mahaney. It's rivalry night in Moraga, and there's no better way to start the morning off with a nice cold smoothie. Aiden does admit, though, he's not a morning person. Just because I'm not a morning person doesn't mean I don't get up in the mornings, you know. I, it's easy for me to get up. It's just a little bit harder, and I prefer the night, but you got to do what you got to do. Hey, good morning, Aiden. Morning. Aiden's parents are divorced. He lives with his dad. As Aiden gets ready for the day, his dad takes some time out of his work day to make Aiden some bacon. He's a really hard worker. He's up early, earlier than I am every day. And he's working at, at home so that he can be near us at 4.30. Um, so when you see someone working like that, I feel like it's just inspirational. As the bacon's sizzling, Aiden's older brother Noah wakes up. The 21-year-old was born with Down syndrome and is one of Aiden's three brothers in the Mahaney household. Noah, my oldest brother, who really just means the world to me, like being close to home and seeing him every day. Noah can light up anyone's day. No, we're good now. Apparently, the bacon wasn't enough. So Aiden makes a few stops to Noah's bagels and Jamba before he heads to school. Big thing I've been trying to do differently this year is uh, just really focus on like nutrition and I'm trying to gain weight for college. It's an easy day for Aiden. The senior has two classes, yoga and sports medicine. And what better way to start the day than by stretching and focusing on your mind. After yoga, Aiden visits some of his friends in between classes. Aiden has a lot of friends, but more importantly, a huge support system. I just think it's it's special what you have at camp. Although I think that they really do love the basketball player, I think that they're, the difference here is that I think they love the person just as much, which I think is different and you can't get that everywhere and I think it's super, super cool. After a quick lecture in sports medicine, Aiden shifts his focus to hoops, where he heads over to Coach Dyer's classroom to study Miramonte film as the Cougars look to stomp the mats. Driving lane will be open if you guys. Right, take away, take away a strong hand. Deuces! It's 1.30 p.m. Aiden drives over to his mom's house to not only visit her, but to enjoy a well-balanced meal. You know, she does everything for me. She's there when I need her. She's, she's making food. She's helping me out with school. She's keeping me on track. After a quick visit, Aiden heads back to his dad's house to get in a nap before the big game. It's quarter to five and the St. Mary's College commit is putting up shots in the driveway before heading to his game, looking to stop a Matadors team who's having one of its best seasons in program history. It is the best miramani has been in 20 years or something like that and we get a chance to have them at our place in a rivalry upon rivalry type of game. It's just what an opportunity. It's 5.35, Aiden returns to Campo with his game face on. As Aiden waits for the junior varsity game to finish, the senior makes sure he's all taped up before stepping onto the court. Yes, sir. It's not just a rivalry game. For Aiden, it's a friendly rivalry match where the senior guard gets to score off against some of his friends, including senior James Fry. I love playing against those guys. They love playing against me. It could definitely get chippy. I mean, who knows? But we know that at the end of the game, there's is bigger things than basketball. It's really a lifelong friendship with all those guys. But for 32 minutes of basketball, their friendship is on pause as both teams look to battle it out in a huge league match. Mahaney and the Cougars get off to a slow start as Miramonte goes on a 6-0 run to start the ball game. Aiden would then get this bucket to go in the first quarter. However, the senior gets called for a charge and the Matadors lead 14-8 at the end of one. But the Cougars respond as Cade Bennett drills a big three to cut the deficit to three, then all of a sudden, the lights go out. A power outage stalls the game. Aiden and the Cougars head to the locker room, hoping for the lights to turn on so play can resume. Just one play, man. We'll see what it is. Just one play. Just one play, just one win. Football. 
About an hour later, the power is back on and both teams return to the hardwood to warm up before gameplay resumes. The shots weren't falling for Mahaney, but number 20 gave his teammates great looks, which includes this gorgeous dime to Shane O'Reilly, leading to a wide open triple for the junior. Mahaney has just two points, but Campolindo has a 22-21 lead at the half. As the third quarter rolls along, both teams were trading buckets, but Aiden found some momentum in the third as he drives to the cup, gets the shot to fall, plus the foul for his first made field goal. At the end of three quarters, the Cougars still have a one-point lead. With Miramonte's defense focused on Mahaney, it gave Aiden's teammates more chances to score. One big pass led to one big shot. Cade Bennett and Shane O'Reilly were in clutch mode as both scored 12 of the Cougars' 18 points in the final frame. But with time winding down, Mahaney put the nail in the coffin with this big triple. It wasn't the night Aiden expected as number 20 only finished with 8 points and 6 assists, but was pleased to get a team win beating the Matadors 55 to 46. They're a really good team, they're well coached, they have a lot of really good players. Um, I just think really it speaks to the toughness of our group to be able to overcome a power outage, uh, all these random things. To be able to come out on top I think really just speaks to our toughness and you, sometimes you got to win ugly and I think that's what we did. January 28th, 2022 is just another day in the life with Aiden Mahaney. Appreciate you guys watching my day in the life, uh, get a little taste of what it is. Peace out. A crazy day to say the least. There's no question Aiden and the Cougars battled through adversity. Not just dealing with a power outage, but going up against a tough physical Matador squad. Aiden was spot on after the game when I spoke to him. Sometimes you just have to win ugly. Yeah, and they've been winning a lot, whether it's ugly or not. And I know he's looking forward to going to St. Mary's next yeah, year. Yeah, staying first, close to home. Yeah, his, uh, his high school run continues. Absolutely.